Hey guys and welcome to the first of a few uh, tutorial videos on custom songs in Beat Saber. Um, we've had a lot of people on the unofficial Beat Saber mod discord talking about how to get it all done, things like that. I'm going to be, these tutorials are going to go from just playing custom songs in the first place all the way up to advanced lighting um, and how to present your song the best way it can be. Um, anyway, so initially we're starting this one off with just purely on the sake of how to play custom uh, songs in the first place. Essentially what you need to do um, is first off we need to be installing something called the Beat Saber Song Injector made by a modder called Zionico, uh, great guy. Uh, in this instance though what you need to do is you need to go to this link which I will put in the description as well. This one just here, um, and which will take you to this page just here. What you need to do is there is essentially two different downloads that you can do. Uh, one of them is if it's the first time you have ever setting up custom songs, and the second time is if uh, Zaunico releases an update and you need to update your um, your plugin itself, you need to download that one. Um, straight up in this case, uh, you can see we're on version 3.0. I'm sure many more are to come, but immediately in the middle here, you're going to see these two um, links uh, where it actually says already installed and first time install. Uh, in this instance, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do both, um, but you need to just simply click on which one you need to download. In this instance, uh, for the example, I'm gonna be showing the already installed because I haven't actually updated mine. Um, but the first time install is the same except for one difference. So in this instance, once it's downloaded, all right, so you click it, you let it download, um, you'll essentially come to, well, so here's my downloads area. Um, this, is, this folder up here is what you will get once you extract the file you download for the first time install one. Um, and it'll show a bunch of files like this. I've just downloaded the update one. Um, so if this is the very, very first time you have done this at all um, and you're wanting the custom ones to go, you would be looking in this folder here. Um, you should have files that look like this. What you need to do is you've got to make sure, first off, Beat Saber is not running in any form and you've then got to open up uh, its directory. Um, what I mean by that is where, where it's installed. There is a difference if you've bought it through Steam or if you've bought it through Oculus and I'll put those... Um, directory listings just in the description below um, but for this way I've done it through Steam right and so I've also got uh, the Steam directory up here so Steam 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 apps common and then Beat Saber um, I've already got the custom files installed so don't worry about if you're confused at all but essentially what you need to do is this um, these files here you simply select them all yes even the how to install it doesn't matter select them all right click uh, tap copy um, or you can just drag and drop it. Yeah, copy, go into the directory right here um, for Beat Saber install, right click and paste. Let, um, if it says it needs to override anything, do tap yes and let it do its thing. Now, once you have done that, um, if it is a new install and this is the first time, you've got, to, uh, you've got to take the Beat Saber executable, this one here, not um, any others, just this one. You've got to grab it and you've got to drag and let and drop it onto the IPA executable. I'm actually drag dropping there, but it's not showing up. That's okay. But yeah, um, drag it onto there and let go. Not the IPA folder, just the executable. Once you've done that, it'll run a a little uh, executable, and you'll see some text come up. It should disappear, um, and you a few folders will then appear in here, um, including this Beat Saber patch and launch. Now, before we go any further, um, we're going to do the version I need to do. So back up in up here, I'm going to be extracting um, this folder. So so I'm essentially updating. Now what I mean by updating is the plugin has an update, not the game, but the plugin has an update. Once we go into the new thing, I've got the three folders. Um, I don't actually have to worry about it. Oh no, sorry. We need to select all three. Same thing, copy. Go into the Beat Saber directory, right click paste. It says, do you want to replace the files? We tap yes, it does its thing, and that's it. Um, so I've just updated, absolutely fine. There's nothing else I have to do. I don't have to drag the Beat Saber onto the IPA or anything like that. Dragging the Beat Saber executable onto IPA is purely if it's the first time you've done it. Now there's one more situation to be made aware of. This patch and launch executable is only used if um, 
you need to if the game itself has had an update so since uh, launch the uh, Beat Saber game has had one update once it's updated it essentially breaks the custom game uh, custom songs appearing in game um, to resolve that you literally just have to go to this folder and double click the patch and launch um, it'll lo lo load up the game that's fine you can close it off straight away but you'll never have to use that executor again until there's one other launch so once you've used that executable once the patch and launch every other launch in the future you can just launch through steam or anything like that just fine until there's another update which it'll break and then you've got to do that just once again um so yeah that's essentially how to get it all installed um and now it's a case of actually putting them in so what you need to do is you obviously need to grab a song itself um in this case on the uh there is a website uh where we've been sharing them as well as on the discord itself um but if you go to beatsaver.com and you choose a song, you tap download file. Let that download. Wonderful. Back to the same two folders. So here's my downloads. There it is. If I extract the file, I've then got this, the new folder. Um, now what you need to do is you need to make sure that the folder you're gonna be transferring into this custom songs folder over here um, is only one step up. What I mean by that is, so I've extracted that and I've got a folder called 50, it'll be called whatever they decide to call it, 50 and then one called brain power. You gotta make sure that I, you're not taking the folder 50 over you need to be taking the folder brain power the one that's just one step up above all of the four files that you see in here or there may be more files in there right so we're going to right click on brain power copy or cut and then over here in custom songs we're going to paste it in we now have that in there and that's literally it so in beat saber you don't have to do anything else if you go to the play um if you just sorry go to your song list standardly you'll have the 10 default um beat saber songs there and below that is then all of the custom songs that you've installed but yeah hopefully that was useful i'll see you in the, uh, the next video